Mark Pasco is something of a legend in the world of super yacht tenders. The former powerboat builder has delivered hundreds of boats in the 25 years or so that he's been in the business. But arguably the most famous are two custom tenders produced in 2005 for the iconic 88 meter sailing yacht Maltese Falcon, a pioneering project that afterwards Mark decided to name his new company after. In 2021, the British boat builder began a new chapter in his career and a new era in custom tender design when he set up Falcon Tenders together with Dean Stoneman, a former motor racing and powerboat champion. Based in Southampton in the UK, the company is made up of a dedicated team of hand-picked craftsmen and women with a combined 150 years of boat building experience. And we've come to Venice to take a look at their very first launch, the 10.5 meter hybrid limo tender Miss Wonderly, aptly named after the femme fatale in the classic detective story Maltese Falcon by Dashiell Hammett. And I must say that Venice provides the perfect backdrop for this edition of The Boat Show, because the beautiful exterior lines by British-based studio Michael Leach Design owe a lot to the classic Venetian water taxis that are used as stylish people carriers in this part of the world. The reason I set up Falcon Tenders as a new fully custom tender building business was because I felt there was a gap in the market for something totally unique for the owner that's looking for something very, very special. And we've set this business up as a small family style business. So at the moment we're about 10 people. We plan to expand to around 20, 25 people with the idea that we will build two or three very, very exclusive special tenders each year. The team of people that work with me are a passionate team of craftsmen uh, that don't come to work for the money. They, they love the product they build um, and take a great pride in what's being built. So we, the business works in a very different way to a large company that's more like a factory. The craftsmanship and quality is visible in just about everything you look at or touch, from the Superyacht standard all-grip paintwork to the reclaimed teak for the exterior decking, or the upholstery in soft Scottish leather to the caramel bamboo veneers on the inside. You can see it in the flush-fitting tinted glass of the coach roof, the upholstery stitching and the stainless steel brightwork and the wraparound helm position. Of course, the bespoke interior is fully air-conditioned and fitted out with a custom Bluetooth sound system and full Apple iPad functionality for the system's integration. But don't forget that a tender is also a working vessel, albeit a very luxurious one. And it's not enough just to look good. They also have to be comfortable and functional. The key points to a yacht tender and the main differences between a standalone sports boat and a yacht tender are the fact that guests are boarding. So it's very important to have the boarding easy for older owners. So we have a folding bulwark system here that lowers the step you need to jump over. We've also incorporated a sea keeper stabilisation system to take out the roll when the boat's stationary alongside the yacht. Um, and big chunky boarding poles and handrails so you can grab hold something, everybody wants to hold something, even young people. You feel secure if you can hold something solid. The other key parts of the design of a super yacht tender are that it has to be stowed in a very small place on the, on the yacht. So whilst the yachts are for this type of tender are 80 metres and above, they're still trying to squeeze the, the stowage area for the tender to maximise the yacht accommodation. So here we have an overall height of only 2.1 from keel to top of roof. Uh, we've got an overall bit length of 10.6 metres, beam of 3 metres. Um, and the boat is picked up by two beam cranes that come out of the side of the yacht and attach to uh, uh, custom lift points that we've designed here, which are incorporated as a cleat also. So we've made a sort of piece of deck jewellery as well as something that's very functional. We've got this boat fitted with stern drives. So um, when trimmed up, you're only got a draft of less than half a metre. Um, in full trim down position in about 0.85 metres. 
So again, the key is the overall height of the boat when it's being stowed in the, in the, in the garage. And we've almost achieved full standing headroom inside the cabin here. So it's a very spacious feel inside. As you'd expect from a CEO who used to build power boats and a company director who used to race them, performance is part and parcel of the DNA of Falcon tenders. But performance can be defined in different ways, can't it? And especially today in an increasingly eco-conscious world, raw speed is not necessarily at the top of the list. Which is why Miss Wonderly has a hybrid diesel electric propulsion system that comprises twin Hyundai 270 horsepower diesel engines, two Huracan 20 kilowatt electric motors, and 40 kilowatts of lithium ion batteries that together or separately can drive the Mercury Bravo stern drives. The result is that owners can enjoy emission-free transfers at low speed in almost total silence, but also exhilarating yet fuel-efficient performance at top speed. Why go with hybrid in the first place? We decided to build a hybrid-powered Superyacht tender because uh, behind the whole brand of Falcon tenders is a sustainability ethic. So we're trying to bridge the gap between ocean preservation and maintain performance. So hybrid, I believe, is the perfect solution for this type of limousine tender. You can run very low speed, almost emission-free, and without any vibration or anything like this. So, and that's what these limos are all about. It's all about transiting owners and guests to and from the yacht in absolute luxury. Um, and then once out of the marina, uh, it will automatically change over to combustion engine and then it starts regenerating the power. So on a short run between the shore and the yacht, let's say five, 10 minutes in the marina, picking up the guests. Once you're out of the marina and into open sea, these combustion engines fire up and you can run up to 38 knots. The normal speed for this kind of tender is running around 20 to 25 knots maximum because again, it's all about keeping the guests comfortable. So we've seen how Miss Wonderly performs at low speed in hybrid or electric mode. And now we've come out into the lagoon to find a bit more space to find out how she handles at higher speed. The hull is made of green epoxy composites in a foam sandwich construction for a stiff and lightweight structure. Just one reason why she can make more than 35 knots with less than 600 horsepower of installed power. She comes up quickly and smoothly onto the plane at around 20 knots and feels nimble but assured in the water, slicing smoothly through the waves but maintaining good lift all the while. This is thanks to the variable dead rise, which goes from around 50 degrees at the bow to 18 degrees at the transom. The flatter dead rise aft means she's efficient but can still carry a good top speed once on the plane. Two spray rails that run two thirds of the way from the bow keep her from burying her nose. In fact, she's a dry boat, even though the driving position is right up front in the bow. The chine is quite small to avoid any banging in rougher water and there are no steps but she does have a small amount of rocker in the keel to maintain trimmability in variable sea conditions. Miss Wonderly is one of those boats that turns heads wherever she goes, a little bit like a namesake in the detective story, Maltese Falcon. But her beauty is more than skin deep. There's the sophisticated hybrid propulsion, the build quality, the onboard comfort, and the attention to detail. But it's also important to remember that a super yacht tender is the first taste that guests have of what to expect on the mothership. And in that respect, I think that Miss Wanderly sets a new benchmark in a competitive market where customization is key. <laughs>